across both lakes in Vietnam. As America's veterans face challenges, DAV is there. My victory was getting my benefits and a good education. DAV helps veterans of every generation get the benefits they've earned. I'm a veteran. I didn't want to admit it, but I had PTSD. So veterans can reach victories, great and small. My victory was finding help and learning that I wasn't alone. Support more victories for veterans. Go to DAV.org. What are you up to this summer? What if you made a difference in your community by volunteering? You can do something you're proud of. You can turn a beach party into a beach cleanup. Deliver laughter, adventure, and learning by the truckload. With a few friends and a little effort, you can help make your communities healthier, greener, and stronger, and maybe improve your own skills while passing them on to others. Join us as we encourage kids, families, and individuals to create the future they imagine. Together, we can inspire people to volunteer in their communities and help others. Breaking news in America this morning, Hurricane Dorian gaining strength on track to hit Florida as a Category 3 storm. It is forecast to become much, much more intense. Everybody needs to really, really be on guard. Store shelves already empty as people stock up. New video showing the damage in the Caribbean. This morning, the new storm track and the biggest concern right now. An urgent warning from a major American city. Stop using e-cigarettes immediately. The lung disease outbreak now under investigation and the new study on the risk of secondhand vaping. A developing story in Washington, D.C. A college intern walking her dog is fatally stabbed in the street. Police calling it a random attack. What we've learned overnight. Plus the dramatic video, a rhino on the attack at a safari park with a man trapped inside that vehicle. The new sighting of a great white shark surprising boaters on the East Coast. And friendship and devotion taken to new heights. Meet the veteran who carried a fellow Marine 14 miles up a mountain. From ABC News in New York, this is America This Morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this Thursday. We begin with a state of emergency right now in Florida as the state braces for what could be a major hurricane by this weekend. At last check, Hurricane Dorian was packing winds up to 85 miles per hour, but it's expected to gain strength over the warm waters of the Atlantic and grow into a Category 3 storm. It already slammed the U.S. Virgin Islands, where crews will be out this morning assessing the damage. ABC's Mona Kosar Abdi begins our storm coverage. This morning, people in Florida fueling up. Stay safe. Thank you. Bottled waters flying off the shelves as emergency officials and forecasters sound the alarm. All of Florida is in play. Everyone there needs to prepare. Bottom line is that we have a very, very serious hurricane threat to the state of Florida. Forecasters say Dorian could grow into a Category 3 hurricane by the time it reaches the Florida coast late this weekend. People from Jacksonville down to Miami taking no chances, buying generators, batteries, and flashlights. We're from the island, so we are ready. We are not the last-minute people for a hurricane. We know what hurricanes do. I'm not that concerned, but I think it's better to be safe than sorry. The state's governor has already declared a state of emergency. Local officials are warning residents, know your evacuation routes. This is no time to panic. We don't know uh, what will develop in the days ahead. The U.S. Virgin Islands took a direct hit from Dorian as a Category 1 storm. New video shows winds up to 80 miles per hour wreaking havoc on marinas and damaging buildings on St. Thomas and Tortola. Nearly 40,000 power outages reported. There are still some assessments being done overnight on the islands of St. Thomas and St. John. Um, road crews are working to clear the roadways. And in Puerto Rico. Heavy rains and strong winds, but a sigh of relief as the island was spared the brunt of the storm. But some tourists now leaving Puerto Rico are left to wonder whether they'll meet up with Dorian again on U.S. soil. We're flying back on uh, tomorrow, and hopefully it's not going to get on Monday to South Carolina. <laughs> And overnight, we've learned that President Trump approved an emergency declaration for the U.S. Virgin Islands. Now, officials there say they've seen a lot worse from other storms in recent years. But Janae and Kenneth were expecting a better damage assessment later today. And we will be finding out what that heavy rain and those strong winds did there. Mona, thank you. Meanwhile, the biggest concern along the Florida coast will be flooding. AccuWeather's Adam Del Rosso is tracking the storm. Adam. 
Janae and Kenneth, good morning. We're continuing to track Hurricane Dorian as it churns northward, pulling away from Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. But here's the thing. It is moving into some very warm Atlantic waters, and it's not going to have a lot of land to interact with. So that means it's going to be able to continue to strengthen. By Friday morning, a Category 2 hurricane. Saturday evening, likely a major Category 3 hurricane heading right for Florida. Still some questions on where exactly it goes, but we need to prepare all across Florida because there are some serious impacts heading our way. We need to keep an eye out for flooding, storm surge, damaging wind gusts that are going to lead to power outages and plenty of travel issues, especially as we head into the Labor Day holiday weekend. Kenneth, Janae. And we'll be definitely checking on Central Florida. Adam, thank you. You can stay with ABC News for continuing coverage of Hurricane Dorian, and you can track the storm anytime on the ABC News app. Well, now to the other, other developing story this hour. The FBI is offering a $20,000 reward for the capture of two fugitive murder suspects. Blaine and Susan Barksdale have been on the run since Monday when police say they overpowered two armed security guards in Utah. The private guards were transporting the couple from New York back to Arizona, where they were accused of murdering a 72-year-old man they knew. His house was also set on fire. The victim's brother says he just wants justice. It's like everything just got thrown out the door. Um, the, the people that uh, were transporting him, it's like, uh, I, I think somebody uh, 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 you know, didn't follow procedures correctly. And, uh, you know, and then one thing led to another, and this is the mess we got right now. The victim's body was never found, and a motive hasn't been given. The suspects were last spotted in a red GMC pickup truck with Arizona plates. We turn now to the urgent warning from one major city to stop using all e-cigarette devices immediately. It comes after more than a dozen people came down with a severe lung disease. Each patient reported vaping before their health declined. This morning, the city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, with an urgent warning. Stop vaping immediately. The alert comes after 16 people who use e-cigarettes were hospitalized with chemical pneumonia. After two people, we should probably have sent out word sooner. Um, but I'm glad we're doing it now. Patients range from teenagers to people in their 30s. Kim Barnes's 26-year-old son, Dylan, is among them. She says he had been vaping for less than a year and almost died this month. I didn't think he was going to come out of it. I thought that I was seeing my son the last time. This warning comes just days after officials in Illinois announced the first death believed to be related to the e-cigarette use. The CDC is now investigating nearly 200 cases of severe pulmonary illnesses linked to vaping in 22 states. Milwaukee's health department says it's unclear exactly what is sending people to the hospital. Store managers are criticizing the city for issuing the alert without knowing the cause of the illnesses. What will that do to your business if you see people stop using vaping products and e-cigarettes? Business will start crashing down. I understand citizens are going to say, and business owners, hey, this is a legal product. Um, I can sell it. And they can. Um, but I think the health commissioner has to take it a higher level. Doctors say the potential culprits aren't just vaping products and e-cigarettes, but also marijuana oils. They're not really sure if it's vape products that are legal to sell here or THC products that people get off the streets. That's part of it, and, you know, buyer beware. But, you know, um, you don't know if those products get into a regular store either. And, and I'd be very hesitant about taking that gamble. And now there are concerns about secondhand vaping fumes. A new study found about one third of middle and high school students have been exposed to vaping aerosols in the last year. Federal health officials are warning about a deadly mosquito borne virus that seems to be spreading across the eastern U.S. It's called Eastern Equine Encephalitis, or Triple E. It's threatening people in at least six states, including Michigan, where a 14 year old girl is fighting for her life. Her family says she had a simple headache, but within days, her condition worsened. Tripoli is also blamed for a woman's death in Massachusetts. To protect yourself, avoid standing water and use insect repellent with DEET. Police in Washington, D.C. have arrested a man for the stabbing death of an intern on a city street. They say 27-year-old Marjorie McGill was walking a dog Tuesday when she was killed in what they say was a random attack in northwest D.C. A 24-year-old man is in custody. They say there is no information to suggest a robbery, and the two apparently did not know each other. Her family says McGill, who is from California, was interning in D.C. for the summer. Well, time now for a look at your weather for this Thursday morning.
A nasty storm left a giant mess around Houston. Heavy winds blew out the revolving door of a downtown building, which led to flooding through the lobby. Even parked cars weren't spared after the wind knocked over an awning. Pacific Northwest will be cooling down today with highs in the 70s and 80s. The Southwest also cooler, dropping to mostly 90s. Mostly 70s and 80s in the Midwest and Northeast, 80s and 90s across the South today. Coming up, a major hotel chain makes a big change in the bathroom. Also ahead, the man accused of killing his wife by poisoning her breakfast cereal. How he allegedly did it. And new video of a rhino going on the attack at a safari park. The latest on the man trapped inside that vehicle. Aloha, I'm Paula Akana. Join KITV4 Island News as we celebrate some very special wahine in Hawaii's remarkable women. From fighting for equality to excelling in careers that were once unheard of for women, they've all left their mark on our island communities and for some, the world. Each month, we'll share a different story of their sacrifices and achievements. Hawaii's remarkable women, only on KITV4 Island News at 6. KITV4 honors remarkable women, brought to you by Homeworld Furniture. Look, I'm sorry. I think it's time we move on. It's, it's, it's not you. It's, it's just time. It's time for both of us. I think it's time for both of us to move on. I'm gonna miss you, baby. You're gonna give somebody else so much. You have a lot to offer. And you're gonna be a lifesaver. Auntie, how did you do in the storm last night? My jealousies leaked water everywhere. We had no water leakage at all. I'm so glad we installed Breezeway louver windows. They not only seal tightly, but they prevent the traffic noise from keeping us up at night. We shouldn't be replacing jealousies for a really long time. <laughs> See how awesome they seal up? Contact Breezeway today to replace your old jealousy windows. When Roy decided to create an elegant interior for his original restaurant, the Roy's in Hawaii Kai, one name popped up, Kevin from Selective Stone. Kevin is a professional. His products are just number one. It was absolute a pleasure to deal with Kevin and his team. There is no other company we will deal with other than Selective Stone. Selective Stone, a Kamaina company, services the commercial and residential industry for over 20 years. The low prices are just a part of our great service. We're back with a video of an angry rhino attacking a car with a zookeeper inside. This happened at a safari park in Germany. The rhino flipped the car at least three times. The zookeeper suffered bruises and a concussion, but is getting ready to go back to work tomorrow. It's unclear what led up to the attack. The FBI is reportedly investigating two cameras that were broken outside the jail cell where Jeffrey Epstein died. Reuters reports the cameras were within view of the cell where the accused child molester's body was found. Epstein's attorneys told the judge this week they're skeptical that he died by suicide. They say he was not in despair before his death. New video from Mississippi appears to show a troubling incident involving a voting machine. A man casting a ballot in Tuesday's GOP primary runoff for governor saw his vote change more than a dozen times jumping from Bill Waller to the eventual winner, Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves. Irregularities have been reported in seven counties. A surprise resignation in the Senate. Republican Johnny Isaacson of Georgia says he will retire later this year because of health problems. The move could provide an end road for Democrats trying to take back control of the Senate. Another big shakeup in the retail industry. Department store chain Lord & Taylor has been sold for $100 million to Le Tote, a clothing rental startup company. Meanwhile, Bloomberg reports the retailer Forever 21 is now preparing for a possible bankruptcy filing. And the world's largest hotel chain, Marriott, now says it will eliminate small plastic bottles of shampoo and bath gels from all rooms. The move next year will eliminate about 500 million plastic bottles every year. They'll be replaced with 
larger bottles or dispensers mounted on the wall, so you can't take those anymore after yeah. your stay. Uh, uh. Well, coming up, another volcanic eruption in Europe. We have a close-up view. Also ahead, the privacy concerns after a doorbell video company teams up with hundreds of police departments. And a professional racer and TV star is killed trying to set a new speed record. What she said just days before the crash. Corey is living with metastatic breast cancer, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of her body. She's also taking Ibrance with an aromatase inhibitor, which is for postmenopausal women or for men with HR positive HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer as the first hormonal based therapy. Ibrance plus letrozole was significantly more effective at delaying disease progression versus letrozole. Patients taking Ibrance can develop low white blood cell counts, which may cause serious infections that can lead to death. Before taking Ibrance, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are pregnant, breastfeeding, or plan to become pregnant. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Corey calls it her new normal because a lot has changed, but a lot hasn't. Ask your doctor about Ibrance, the number one prescribed FDA-approved oral combination treatment for HR-positive, HER2-negative MBC. Sarah, could you come in here? Yep, coming. Oh, wow. What kind of underwear are those? They're breathable underwear from Fruit of the Loom. Oh, what are those? Guys, they're, they're breathable underwear from Fruit of the Loom. Oh. Yes, they have these tiny holes to let the air through. Can you help me? Wow, well, we will look at those. Can you feel this? Yeah. Turn around for me. Seriously? Slow, <laughs> slow, slower, go slower. Okay? I don't think you should get that dress. Mm. It doesn't fit. Stay cool with breathable underwear from Fruit of the Loom. Feel the clarity of non-drowsy Claritin and relief from symptoms caused by over 200 indoor and outdoor allergens, like those from Buddy. Live Claritin clear. For one week only, save up to $36 in select Claritin products. Check the Sunday's newspaper for details. Some boaters here got to see nature's fury off the coast of Italy. That volcano on Stromboli Island erupted, sending all that smoke and ash one mile into the sky. Mm. Lava burned vegetation as it spilled into the sea. Another eruption last month killed a hiker. Incredible images there. Now to the tragic death of a racing star known as the fastest woman on four wheels. Jessie Combs was trying to break a record by traveling more than 500 miles per hour on land when her car crashed. This morning, her boyfriend says he did everything possible to save her. ABC's Will Carr has the details. Jessie Combs, seen here barreling across the desert, died chasing her dream. The 39-year-old was attempting to set a new land speed record for women, trying to go faster than 512 miles per hour when she tragically crashed in Oregon. Her team calling 911 moments after. The jet fire, the jet fire that we've got crashed and the pilot is uh, fatally injured. In a statement, her family said she left this earth driving faster than any other woman in history. Widely considered the fastest woman on four wheels, in a 2013 interview with Autoblog, Combs described the emotional conversations with her mother about the dangers involved. And she's like, is there anything I can do? And really, Mom, there's not anything you can do, but you know what you can do is you can help me get my will ready. Combs recently posted a picture walking behind her jet-powered car, saying, people say I'm crazy, I say thank you. Authorities say the cause of the crash is under investigation. It comes as Combs' boyfriend says a documentary will come out down the road detailing what happened. In Los Angeles, Will Carr, ABC News. A new partnership aimed at keeping neighborhoods safe is raising privacy concerns. More than 400 police departments are now teaming up with the doorbell video company Ring. Officials will be able to request videos recorded by homeowners' cameras. Privacy advocates worry the program could lead to people spying on their neighbors. But law enforcement officials say the videos are already getting criminals off the streets. This is a way that we can interface with them. We have community members that are willingly sharing crime and safety related information. Uh, people are relieved by something like this. But the other thing you don't want to have happen is that people continue to allow their privacy to be eroded. 
So they say homeowners can choose not to participate in the police partnership. Ring warns it can store user-deleted video to comply with any legal obligations. After a five-year investigation, a Michigan man has been charged with murder, accused of spiking his wife's bowl of cereal with a fatal dose of heroin. Jason Harris is also charged with trying to hire a hitman to kill his wife, Christina. The medical examiner originally ruled the cause of her death an accidental overdose, but her friends insist she didn't use drugs. And investigators say Harris talked to relatives about getting rid of his wife. A second victim has died after a boat crash involving Shark Tank star Kevin O'Leary. Police in Canada are asking for witnesses to come forward. O'Leary says he was a passenger on a boat that hit another vessel on Lake Joseph in Ontario Saturday night. He says the other boat had no lights on and fled the scene. Police are not confirming details, but say both boats left the scene. They're trying to determine if alcohol was involved. New video this morning of a great white shark surprising some lobster men off Cape Cod. The shark came right up to their boat. It was feeding on the carcass of a humpback whale. Nearby experts say shark sightings are up 60% this year. In sports, Serena Williams passed her first real stress test at the U.S. Open. She dropped her first set against 17-year-old Catherine McNally, but then rallied for three sets to win. Williams is now a perfect 38-0 in first and second round matches in New York. She's on fire. Keep going. Yeah. Up next in the polls, the lottery player who stayed patient and cashed in. Also ahead, a new job for Matthew McConaughey that will make a whole lot of young women happy. And a true test of endurance, the veteran who carried a fellow Marine 14 miles up a mountain. Fact is, every insurance company hopes you drive safely. But Allstate actually helps you drive safely with DriveWise. It lets you know when you go too fast and brake too hard. With feedback to help you drive safer, giving you the power to actually lower your cost. Unfortunately, you can't do anything about that. Now that you know the truth, are you in good hands? Dad, we need to talk about something important. You don't need to go anywhere, Dad. This is your home. The best home to be in is your own. Home Instead offers personalized in-home services for your loved ones. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. Get to Kohl's for our biggest jean sale with 40 to 50% off. Plus, all Levi's 40 to 50% off. Plus, take $10 off your $25 purchase. Plus, get $5 Kohl's cash for every $25 spent. Plus, free Amazon returns now at all Kohl's stores. Labor Day weekend at Kohl's. the breed, the size, or the age. All dogs descend from wolves, and for thousands of years they've shared a love for meat. Grain-free Blue Wilderness is made to satisfy that desire. Feed the wolf that lives inside your dog with Blue Wilderness. Let's see, Aleve is proven better on pain than Tylenol Extra Strength, and lasts longer with fewer pills. So why am I still thinking about this? I'll take Aleve. Aleve, proven better on pain. It is time to check the pulse, and we begin with Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Or you can call him Professor McConaughey. The okay. Oscar winner has been a visiting instructor at the University of Texas for four years, but now he's joining the staff as a professor. He'll continue teaching his script-to-screen film production class. He earned his film degree from UT back in 1993, now bringing it full circle. You know he's going to be good. Ah, uh, yeah. Most people are creatures of habit, especially when they're picking lottery numbers. Including this guy, who used the same combination of numbers for nearly 30 years. Well, guess what? 
He <laughs> finally hit the jackpot in the Canadian lottery. He won $60 million, totally paid off. But get this, he waited 10 months before claiming his prize. He says he was overwhelmed and wanted to recheck those numbers over and over to be sure. Uh, I mean... I would have gone, like, literally within that an day. hour. Uh, me, me, I won. But he waited 30 years, so right. that's 10 more months. Next, a story of friendship and devotion taken to new heights. It's about two guys who were part of a special operations unit in the Marines. John Nelson and Jonathan Blank served in Afghanistan, where Blank lost his legs in an explosion. Blank had wanted to climb a certain mountain in Utah since moving there five years ago. Well, last weekend, Nelson carried him to the summit, a trek of more than 14 miles. I got legs. I got legs. I couldn't imagine if I... I thought this would be something epic for him to experience to actually get to the, you know, to the saddle. And not only have I lived through this, he's lived through it as well. Like, we're also, you know, special operations guys, you know? We're force recon marines, we can do anything. We can maybe instill that mindset in other people. And they're not done yet. Nelson and Blank planning to climb California's Mount Whitney more than 14,000 feet high on Veterans so Day. So cool. Finally, a fed up beekeeper in Turkey has decided to put some thieves to work. He lost $10,000 in honey over three years to bears. So these honey stealing bears became his honey taste testers. He set up a camera and the bear, bear started eating. Turns out they prefer his most expensive brand, which sells for $150 a oh, pound. Oh, oh. Here. 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 Being here matters, but the cold and flu keeps some students from being here up to 60 million days every year. Introducing Here for Healthy Schools, a new program from Lysol dedicated to curbing the spread of illness in classrooms by teaching healthy habits and partnering with a smart thermometer company. Learn about our mission at Lysol.com. With cheese dippers by the Laughing Cow, you can dunk, do your thing, snack or twirl. So however you snack, snack like you. The Laughing Cow. I wanted more from my COPD medicine. That's why I've got the power of one, two, three medicines with Trelegy. The only FDA approved three-in-one COPD treatment. Trelegy, the power of one, two, three. Trelogy and the power of one, two, three. I'm breathing better. Trelogy works three ways to open airways, keep them open, and reduce inflammation for 24 hours of better breathing. Trelogy won't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden breathing problems. Trelogy is not for asthma. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure before taking it. Do not take Trelogy more than prescribed. Trelogy may increase your risk of thrush, pneumonia, and osteoporosis. Call your doctor if worsened breathing, chest pain, mouth or tongue swelling, problems urinating, vision changes, or eye pain occur. Think your COPD medicine is doing enough? Maybe you should think again. Ask your doctor about One's Daily Trelogy and the power of 123. Trelogy, 123. Save at Trelogy.com. Cake in the conference room. Showing them you're ready to be your own boss. That's the beauty of your smile. Crest three-dimensional whitening. Removes stains, whitens in between teeth, and protects from future stains. Crest, healthy, beautiful smiles for life. Checking more top stories. Hurricane Dorian brought heavy wind and rain to Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, but no major damage is reported, and the storm is set to gain strength over the Atlantic. Dorian is traveling east of the Bahamas today and tomorrow, and it's likely to grow into a Category 3 hurricane and could hit somewhere along the Florida coast late this weekend. Authorities say they foiled a shooting plot at a North Carolina college. Prosecutors say the freshman at High Point University had guns and ammunition in his dorm room and planned to shoot up the school. A classmate reported him. USA Today is reporting two of at least 10 suspicious, suspicious deaths at a VA hospital in West Virginia have now been ruled homicides. George Shaw's family was reportedly floored to learn he'd been killed by an insulin injection. Today's weather sunny and less humid in the northeast. Showers likely in the Midwest and Plains. Stormy in the Pacific Northwest. Slightly cooler in the Southwest. Mostly 80s and 90s across the South. Finally, from us, a really sweet story. A paramedic in Minnesota in his magical treatment. The medic is using his unique talent to make ambulance rides less stressful. Ellen Gals of our Minneapolis station has the story. Paramedic Ivan Mazurkowitz runs on emergencies all over the North Metro. I found a different way of 
connecting and helping people in my own way. And in many cases, the most powerful medicine might be right here in his little black bag. I try to use magic as a way of breaking the ice a little bit. A professional paramedic and an amateur magician, Ivan finds a way to combine both in the back of his Alina Health ambulance. Usually the flashy ones are, are easy, and he really loves it. When you come around and you pull a lightning boogie from the nose, put it in the hand, put it in the ear, put it out the other ear, in your ear, out the other ear, throw it in your mouth, cough it out. <laughs> his talent at surprises like that actually originated with a tragic, fatal call. About five years ago, I had the worst call of my career that involved a five-year-old child. That call left an imprint on me was, you know, it was a kid and he was scared. And so Ivan tries to keep the mood as light as possible when he can. We watched him work his magic on this pediatric call in Anoka County. My name's Ivan, okay? He's able to keep his five-year-old patient calm and relaxed on the ride all the way to downtown Minneapolis. Oh, another one. <coughs> Too. Of course, there are some calls too critical for card tricks. If anything, a ride in the back of this ambulance is a reminder that even in the midst of stress and crisis, anything is possible. I think laughter is the best medication. Uh, I think optimism is the best healer. He's right. Such a sweet story. Mm -hmm. That's what's making news in America this morning. Please stay with us for Good Morning America. Have a great day. KITV 4 is Le'ui Kahola Kula weekends on Good Morning Hawaii. Now, from KITV 4, Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Coming up on Good Morning Hawaii, on the verge of tears, the woman accused of driving drunk and killing a man in Nanakuli takes the stand in her own defense. What she had to say about the night in question as that case now prepares to head to the jury. Plus, a former union boss accused in a deep web of corruption, including spending millions of his own members' money, now pleading not guilty to federal charges, why he claims he always had the union's best interests at heart. Good morning, Hawaii. Happy Thursday. Thanks for waking up with us at 4.30. I'm Tom George. Maleko has the morning off. But before we get to your top story, we want to check on weather and traffic. Good morning, Tasia. We were just talking about how rough it was outside yesterday. You kind of stepped outside. You're just dripping in sweat. It's that humidity that was kind of a factor. That's right. So I feel a lot better this morning. I'm an AC now, but we're continuing to track a lot of high humidity and a lot less winds for today. We will see that shift of variable directions throughout the day under 15 miles per hour. Some more cloud coverage in your hot spots like your leeward and interior sections by the afternoon. Hawaii Island, we usually get those clouds in the afternoon because of the heat, but we had a few isolated showers. So we'll continue to feel that today. As you can see, clocking it at nothing in Kaneohe, very light winds, all within the single digits at the moment. Temperatures also, we're taking a look at some cool temperatures, but feeling a lot warmer because we're factoring in that humidity throughout the day. Your daytime highs 86 to 93. We are expecting about 91 for midday in Honolulu and for Kahului around 90 degrees. Our satellite and radar are picking up a few showers just over the windward areas. Tonight we will see a few isolated showers for the windward spots and then scattered showers around midnight. Leeward size will get a bit of afternoon cloud coverage for again leeward and interior sections. So we are seeing very dry conditions, a lot of humidity, so high humidity making those temperatures feel a lot warmer. Tonight's low 73 to 78 will feel warmer as well. We're also continuing to track higher surf throughout the day. South facing shores 3 to 5, 2 to 4 for the west. We could get occasional higher sets this morning. 1 to 3 for the east and 1 to 2 for the north. We've got high tide around 345 later on this afternoon. So once again, a sunny morning, partly cloudy in the afternoon, more so for the leeward and interior sections with a few isolated showers. Your daytime high is 86 to 93. It will feel warmer because of higher humidity. We'll see the humidity go down more so by the weekend. Now here's a look at your traffic. By the airport, we do have maintenance crews working on the sidewalk westbound Nimitz Highway to Valkenburg Street. That begins this morning at 6.30 till 3 o'clock. And we're already starting to see some heavy congestion around Makalapa Gates. No major accidents or stalls. Still looking good from the west side into town. Tom to you. Sounds good, Tasia. Well, today, closing arguments are scheduled for the woman accused of driving drunk and killing then 19-year-old Kaulana Werner back in 2016. Maisha Lee Armitage took the stand in court yesterday morning. She's charged with negligent homicide, accused of killing Werner along Farrington Highway in Nanakuli. 
She admitted to speeding and to drinking both a Mai Tai and a shot of tequila before getting behind the wheel that night. And at one point during her 45-minute testimony, she came close to tears. I would just stay in my room all day and I cut myself. I tried to kill myself twice. Now, her defense attorney tried to cast doubt over who actually hit Warner, repeatedly bringing up the name Joshua Waikine Kona, who Armitage says she was racing behind. And Brian Akawelo, the former union head of the IBEW Local 1260, along with his wife and his sister-in-law, all pleading not guilty in federal court. They're accused of using union funds for personal use, including rigging an election and forcing members to pay millions of dollars that they weren't supposed to. She didn't know anything, and so she maintained her innocence. If she had known who was doing it, she would have turned them in. He was a very a big advocate, a strong advocate for the union, the local 1260, and he really does care about the union. Now, all three defendants were released after posting $50,000 bond. The jury selection on that case is scheduled to begin on October 29th. Well, Honolulu police released videos and images related to a number of crimes that they need your help solving. Take a look. This is some surveillance video from the lockup self-storage on Kapiolani Boulevard. It was taken on July 16th around 9.30 at night. Crime Stopper says the man you see there in this video stole items from one of the storage units before taking off. And then there's this woman. She's accused of stealing a purse from inside somebody's house on 7th Avenue in Kaimuki. It happened back on August 20, uh, 14th. The suspect there has tattoos on her right arm and leg. And last Tuesday, two men assaulted and robbed somebody in the parking lot of this Walmart on Keaomoku Street. This is a sketch of one of the suspects you see right there. He's described as being 18 to 20 years old, about 5 foot 6 and 160 pounds. He has short black hair and was wearing a black t-shirt, jean shorts, and a red baseball hat. Now, the other suspect is also described as 18 to 20 years old, about 5 foot 6 and 160 pounds. He also has short black hair, brown eyes, and was last seen wearing a T-shirt and black jean shorts. And this man allegedly caught stealing a bike from a parking lot on Kavaihai Street back in, on May 20th. He used lock cutters to break that bike lock. If you have any information about any of those crimes, the alleged crimes we just showed you, you're asked to call the Honolulu Crime Stoppers, that number 955-8300. All right, well, new this morning, Honolulu police are investigating a warehouse fire that flared up in Kapolei last night. Fire crews arrived at Kaleloa Boulevard around 8.30 to find light smoke coming out of the open roll-up door of the building. It took them about 20 minutes to put that fire out. Investigators say that that fire was intentionally set, and they turned the case over to the Honolulu police. No injuries were reported. Well, switching gears over to the Big Island there, police need your help finding these two men. They're accused of stealing a safe that was bolted to a floor in a home in Kamwela last Friday. The first man's described as being between 5 foot 1 and 5 foot 6. He was last seen wearing a short sleeve shirt, dark pants, and a baseball cap. Now, the second man is between 5 feet tall and 5 foot 6. He was last seen wearing a long sleeved hoodie with the words stay humble on the front. Uh, shorts, sneakers, and a baseball cap. Now, anybody with any information, uh, you can call the Big Island Police there at 935-3311. We'll still ahead on Good Morning Hawaii. Early edition, more problems with VA hospitals, why investigators in a West Virginia medical center are now calling recent deaths suspicious. Time now, 437. At Ace Autoglass, our certified technicians install windshield glass according to the Autoglass Safety Council's highest safety standards for glass replacement. We call it Ace SureSet Bonding. So be confident with Ace SureSet Bond of glass to your car or whatever you drive. And hey, Ace has free quotes at all nine locations. Replace with Hawaii's clear choice, Ace Autoglass. It's a store-wide flooring sale at American Carpet One Floor and Home. Flooring from as low as 99 cents a square foot. The Labor Day weekend flooring sale at American Carpet One Floor and Home, August 31st through September 2nd. Most things in life should be easy. And the best things in life come free. And for everything else, it's about finding the right financial provider. One that cares for your needs. Pearl Hawaii Federal Credit Union. Upgrade you. Pearl Hawaii. 
Catch Island Sports with Brad Higa weeknights at 6 and 10 on KITV4. It's a store-wide flooring sale at American Carpet One Floor and Home. Flooring from as low as 99 cents a square foot. The Labor Day weekend flooring sale at American Carpet One Floor and Home, August 31st through September 2nd. Ready for your next adventure? Let JTV USA give you exclusive access to the best travel packages for Kama Aina for all types of travel, flight, hotels, and tours. Custom packages to fit any of your travel needs. Exciting 2020 escorted tour listing is now ready. Check out JTBUSA.com, Honolulu branch for details. Stop by our Alamoana office and just tell us where you want to go. We'll handle the rest. JTBUSA, perfect moments always. 439 on this Thursday. We're taking a look at our surf outside, starting off with our south facing shores of 3 to 5. We've got east and variable 5 to 15 mile per hour wind, so it will be quite clean. East facing shores 1 to 2, as well as the north, and then the west side 2 to 4. No warnings or advisories, but we are tracking a moderate southwesterly swell that's continuing to die down, and then it'll linger on later on throughout the day. And then by Sunday, we'll see the south facing shores raise just a bit once again. We we do have high tide later on this afternoon over two and a half feet around 345 and then low tide this morning at 845. Next low tide will be tonight at 1030. Your hourly forecast is showing some partly cloudy conditions. Again, with a lot of that moisture within the clouds, higher humidity levels for our Kauai. Northeasterly winds is staying under 10 miles per hour. Oahu will see a lot of sunshine throughout the day, more so by that midday than afternoon clouds for the leeward and interior spots. Kahului or Maui County in general, lots of sunshine, very hot throughout the day, expecting up to 90 degrees around your midday. And then for Hilo, Hawaii, starting off with some sunshine and then some afternoon clouds. More of those afternoon clouds will shift over through Kailua, Kona. So humid once again for today and tomorrow. Increasing trade showers return with the direction of our winds coming back Saturday, Sunday. Lower humidity levels by your next work week. Now here's a look at your traffic. Once again in Hawaii Kai, just like yesterday on Kalani Anaole Highway, this starting at Ainakoa Avenue through Luna Lilo Home Road. We have some road closures from 8.30 to 1 o'clock. No major accidents or stalls reported within the last two hours, but we're already starting to see some buildup northbound on Fort Weaver right after the Kolawaka intersection. Tom to you. All right, thanks, Tasia. Well, turning to news now around the nation, a probe into a VA medical center in West Virginia is now underway. And as John Lawrence explains, U.S. officials are now looking into nearly a dozen deaths that have been deemed suspicious. The Lewis A. Johnson VA Medical Center in Clarksburg is under investigation. There's a complete system failure here that would allow this many people to be killed uh, without any accountability. According to a recently filed claim, Felix McDermott was allegedly given a fatal dose of insulin either negligently or willfully by an unidentified person while he was a patient at the center. The 82-year-old Army veteran who died in 2018 did not have diabetes. The claim also says wrongful insulin injections could have killed at least nine other patients. Mr. McDermott did suffer from dementia, and the ones that I've talked to or that I've seen, um, seems that that's one of the common traits. Uh, is that these people were defenseless. And now a second family is coming forward. Relatives of George Nelson Shaw Sr. tell the USA Today that the Air Force vet also died a suspicious death at the same facility. Democratic Senator Joe Manchin in a letter sent Wednesday is calling for VA officials to quickly conclude the investigation into this matter. Meanwhile, a spokesman for the medical center says allegations of misconduct do not include current employees. The person is no longer in contact with any patients whatsoever, and there's an investigation. I'm John Lawrence reporting. America. And New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand announced yesterday she's dropping out of the presidential race. The 52-year-old Democrat says her campaign was plagued by low polling numbers and fundraising struggles. She did not meet the requirement to qualify for the third Democratic presidential debate. That's next month in Houston, Texas. I know this isn't the result we wanted. We wanted to win this race. But it's important to know when it's not your time and to know how you can best serve your community and country. I believe I can best serve by helping to unite us to beat Donald Trump in 2020. Now, Gillibrand was appointed to the Senate back in 2009 to uh, fill the seat vacated by Hillary Clinton. She advocated for equal pay for women, family leave, and defending abortion rights. Knowledge 
Well, there will also be no third Democratic debate for Hawaii U.S. Congresswoman and presidential candidate Tulsi Gabbard. She also did not meet the qualifications that were set by the Democratic National Committee. She had the number of donors but was not polling high enough in the necessary polls. Only 10 candidates qualified for that debate, which will air right here on KITV4 on September 12th. Well, Facebook is rolling out some new and stricter rules about political ads. The social network says the move comes after it caught some advertisers were uh, being misleading users about who was funding those ads. One method requires advertisers to submit credentials to obtain a Facebook verified confirmed organization label for those ads. A second option would indicate less confidence in the advertiser's true identity. Those go into effect in the middle of September. Well, footwear companies are urging President Trump to scrap his new tariffs on Chinese imports, including shoes. More than 200 companies, including Nike, Converse, and Adidas, all sent him a letter yesterday. The leader of the, an industry association says those tariffs will not only lead to higher prices for consumers, but they'll also affect American jobs and growth in those companies. Those tariffs are set to kick in on Sunday, but most products will not be affected until the middle of December. Well, time now, 444, and still ahead on Good Morning Hawaii Early Edition, that face-to-face -face doctor's appointment may become a thing of the past. The New Way Queens Hospital is working with their patients to make things a whole lot easier. We'll be right back. Lunch rocks so you can roll. Still your best choice for Michelin, B.F. Goodrich, and most of your tire needs. And if your brakes are breaking your bank, come into Lex Brody's and try our Fix Forever Brake Reline Special. Call 949-4LEX for your appointment or visit LexBrodies.com for Super Saver specials and to set a Fast Pass appointment. A Fix Forever brake warranty, a four-year unlimited tire mileage warranty, and legendary customer service? Oh, these are just a few ways how Lex rocks so you can roll. Lex Brodies Tire Company. Island Style, where we are honored to tell your story every Saturday at 6.30 p.m. right here on KI TV. And we are honored to partner with Ward Village and all the locally owned businesses that make Ward Village their home for live, work, and play. That's every Saturday at 6.30 p.m. right here on KI TV. Hi, hon. Grandma gave us her old couch. Uh-oh, found something. They're back. Call Environ Control. For everything you see, there's many others hiding. Environ Control has the solution. Click or call to schedule a free estimate today. Take back your home again. Environ Control. Catch up on today's top headlines with KITV4's Brenton Awad, 5, 6, and 10. Greetings, saints and friends. I'm Pastor Billy Holland Jr. of the Apostolic Faith Church, welcoming you every Sunday morning here in Hawaii and across the world to break in your weekend with faith, song, and worship with the Kingdom of God crusade. We'll share in our music and song with the church band and the choir, along with a spirit-filled and spirit-directed sermon. We hope and pray you'll let us be a part of your Sunday activities. That's the Kingdom of God crusade every Sunday morning. This is Good Morning Hawaii. Welcome back. Time now, 446. And turning now to health news, do you ever look in the fridge and wonder, eh, is this still good? Well, as Mona Kosar Abdi explains, food labels can actually be confusing and they could cause you to throw away foods unnecessarily. Not all food labels are straightforward and it can be hard to know when food is no longer safe to eat. For example, if you saw a jar that was past the best if used by date, what would you do? Well, the best if used by date establishes a time frame when the food is at best quality and taste. So food is often safe to eat even after passing the best if used by date. On the other hand, the use by date is about food safety for perishable foods, such as eggs. If you pass the use by date, it may be best to throw it out. What about the sell-by date? This date gives the time frame of how long the store should display the food. Foods can be still good after this date. So what can you do to ensure that food you're pulling out of the fridge is still good to eat? The FDA recommends keeping perishable foods out for no longer than two hours at room temperature. This includes meats, eggs, and produce. You can also check if the fridge is set at the right temperature and try to keep foods covered, even if you're storing them in the refrigerator or freezer. With this Medical Minute, I'm Monaco Sarabdi, ABC News. The more you know, all right, well, new research finds that one in three teens is being exposed to secondhand vapor from electronic cigarettes. The study was published in the medical journal JAMA Network Open. Last year, only one in four students reported breathing in secondhand vapors. 
Scientists still don't know the health impacts of increased exposure, but they do say it is being actively studied. And Fitbit rolling out a subscription service for smartwatches. That service is called Fitbit Premium. The company says users can access thousands of workouts and a health report you can give your doctor. Fitbit Premium launches in September. It'll cost you about $10 a month. Well, thanks to some new technology, face-to-face -face visits with doctors at Queens Medical Center could become a thing of the past. Doctors at the Epilepsy Center currently consult patients using telehealth via the Internet. It's especially useful for people on neighbor islands, and for at least one family on Hawaii Island, it's a money saver. Really, almost all the information I get is just in talking to them. How are you doing? Are you having seizures? Are you having side effects? Um, is there anything new going on? Now, Queens claims it's the only epilepsy center in the state with board-certified neurologists. All right, well, now here's a live look at Waikiki Beach. We want to head back over on weather and traffic. Some pretty big waves out there, Tasia. South-facing shores are doing okay for this morning. We actually are clocking in about three to five foot faces over on the south for the Dawn Patrol. And actually, we do have around high tide later on today around 345. Our weather-wise, we are seeing very dry conditions and no major showers. Temperatures are 77 in Lihue, 68 in Wahiwa, and 74 in Kahului. But when you factor in the humidity, already feeling like 80 degrees in Kaneohe. So another warm day ahead for your Thursday. We're expecting up to 92 degrees over the leeward side of our Kauai. Mostly sunny for this morning, then partly cloudy in the afternoon. This is going to be pretty much the same forecast island by island. We'll see those afternoon clouds accumulate more so with the sea breeze pattern for your leeward and interior sections. And with the heat and very light winds, we could possibly get a shower or two in those spots as well. My county will be very dry and hot throughout the day. Hawaii Island, we could see more isolated showers for Kailua Kona later on this afternoon. Hilo, Hawaii will be partly cloudy with some Malka rains, but just like yesterday, very hot and lots of sunshine. South facing shores will continue to be three to five today, two to four for the west and up to two for the north and the east. And taking a look at the extended forecast, humid, humid, and then better conditions Saturday and Sunday. We'll see an increase of showers for your windward and Malka areas as well. Now, here's a look at your traffic. In Waianae, we do have uh, various locations under road work on Farrington Highway. This is going to take place from 8 o'clock this morning all the way throughout 1 o'clock. So just a heads up for that. Still looking good on the roadways. No major accidents or stalls, but we do have a lot of buildup beginning Fort Weaver and Kolawaka. Drive times out of Eva Beach into town, 31 minutes already, and an hour and 10 from Waianae through Honolulu. Time to you. Sounds good. Thanks, Tasia. Well, in entertainment news right now, success for a pair of stars from the Lone Star State. Here's Jason Nathanson with that story and more in today's Hollywood Minute. Maybe I should just lay down. Maren Morris is the girl of the moment, a leading six nominations for the CMA Awards, including Album of the Year for Girl. It's the most nods for a woman in five years. She didn't get a nomination in the coveted Entertainer of the Year category, though. Carrie Underwood is the only woman there, alongside Garth Brooks, Eric Church, Chris Stapleton, and Keith Urban. The CMA Awards air November 13th on ABC. You can A lot of love for Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello's Senorita. Spotify says it's their most streamed global song of the summer, on top of the chart for eight weeks. The Ed Sheeran-Justin Bieber collaboration, I Don't Care, came in second. A record-setting car racer and former star of the TV show Mythbusters and All Girls Garage has died. Jessie Combs was known as the fastest woman on four wheels. She died in an attempt to break her own land speed record in a jet car. Jessie Combs was 39. And birthdays today, singer and One Direction star Liam Payne is 26, while actress and former Glee star Leah Michelle turns 33. Don't tell me not to live just and that's what's happening in Hollywood. I'm Jason Nathanson, ABC News, Los Angeles. All right, we're still ahead on Good Morning Hawaii Early Edition. After being closed down for more than a year, one of Oahu's biggest attractions now set to open to the public again. Why the USS Arizona took so long to repair and what you can expect to see starting this Sunday. Time now, 452. Perfect Auto Shine put uh, their tungsten ceramic on my 2016 Explorer, and it's night and day. Um, I also noticed when we're driving in the rain, um, it, it just, the water just blows off. 
and the, the vehicle stays cleaner longer. Uh, I guess uh, the dirt doesn't stick to it as much. He can show you when he's working on the car, one panel versus the panel they haven't treated or, or corrected. I've checked around and um, the perfect auto shine crew, they're, they're really top notch. Oh, how I sell storage. Oh, how I sell storage. Some pack them, score them, lock them. Unapologetic confidence starts with beautiful skin. Don't hesitate. First wax on us. Catch Island Sports with Cody Cruff. Weekends on KITV4. Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Through all of life's milestones, we're here for you, for life. Time now, 4.54 in Halava. We do have from 9 to 1 some road closures on the shoulder of Kahua Pa'ani Street near the stadium. So just a heads up for that. Makalapa gates are also seeing a lot of congestion for this morning. We do have a stalled vehicle right after the Kolawaka intersection pulled over to the shoulder on Fort Weaver northbound, not blocking any lanes. As soon as you make your way closer to the freeway, we are seeing some touch and go traffic right before that Farrington exit. But other than that, pretty clear conditions as well as as you do make your way on to the freeway throughout Waikele. We've got that zipper lane open as well. H1, H2 merge looking clear. Southbound on the H2 is also moving along. Ka'ahumanu throughout Ka'anohi. No obstructions there. And if you're coming in from the east side on Kalani on Ole Highway, less than 20 minutes into town. Coming in from the west side, we're already seeing about an hour and 10 minutes, so just a heads up for that. Now, here's a look at your weather. So for your south-facing shores, uh, sticking around today 3 to 5, then dying back down, building back up around Sunday into your next work week. West-facing shores 2 to 4, and calmer conditions for the north and east up to 2. Very dry conditions today. We've just got most of the moisture up in the air, raising humidity levels. We'll continue to see a lot of dry conditions throughout the board. A few afternoon clouds and showers for the leeward spots, especially for your interior sections as well because of that sea breeze pattern developing. But throughout the day, mostly Sunday, another hot and humid day. Temperature highs are expected up to 93 degrees, averaging around 90, 91. And again, those afternoon clouds, a sunset at 652 with tonight's lows, 73 to 78. Tom, to you. Thanks, Tasia. Well, the USS Arizona Memorial at Pearl Harbor is scheduled to reopen on Sunday after it was closed for more than a year. The National Park Service shut it down last May because the anchoring system had cracked, but that repair work is now done and visitors will once again be allowed to get off the boats and onto the memorial starting on September 1st. And Congressman Ed Case says he is thrilled about the memorial reopening, saying, quote, while those repairs took much longer than originally planned, it was crucial to get this right for all of us so we can cherish this living memorial, end quote. All right, well, time now, 4.57, and we're working on some news stories for you coming up in the next hour. Coming up at 5, as severe cases of lung disease linked to vaping pop up across the country, one city urging people to stop using them altogether. Plus, we all know paradise has a high cost of living. Well, it turns out we also have the highest cost of dying, why our state has the most expensive end-of-life costs anywhere in the country. And, of course, Labor Day weekend coming up fast. We'll let you know when you should travel to avoid all those crowds. We'll be right back after the break. Stay with us. Experience the bold, crispy, mouth-watering flavors Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen is serving up in each and every bite. Providing closed captioning for KITV4 Island News. When do my credit card points expire? 